Calendar Boys. X. A uh, horse. Capital Z. Uh, red. Three exclamation points in a row. Uh, your mother's maiden name. Um, tilled. What's a till? Tilled a tilled tilled. You know the the guy. The guy. The guy. The guy is like tilled. Ah, uh, it's hard to do on the camera. It's like that. <laughs> You know, uh, the, oh, the, like the squiggly. Yeah, t uh, the boy, the small one, the Wait. one that uh, it's mostly used by hackers and people who aren't sure how many of something they have. Um, hello, welcome to Calendar Boys. Uh, we're trying to guess Elon Musk's password. We're pretty sure that was it. Uh, if you could just go to Twitter, uh, his Twitter account specifically, just go to Twitter, try and log in. I don't know his username, but uh, you'll figure that out and just Probably put the password old, in. Old. Old Musky. Yeah, put the password Maximum in. Maximum Musk. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you should be able to get in. I'm pretty sure that was it. Uh, it is uh, password day, 7th of May. And uh, th these things that we uh, exist with alongside, these codes that we have to memorize, uh, you wouldn't think, if I asked you, do you, rem do you like memorize, if you asked people 25 years ago or maybe 50 years ago, if they think most people would have to memorize codes to live in a society, I don't think they would uh, think that was true. I mm. think they would be like that. They would associate it with like old war stuff of remembering codes. Yeah, but I mean, I think the world, in a sense, the word has always run on passwords. Like it's the most analog of like keeping people out of and into places sort of thing. Like. You'd walk up to like the bar and go, oh, you know, uh, Shamrock, and they go, oh, oh, right inside, Mister uh, So and So. I like exactly what you say about Echo Bravo, blah blah, military stuff. What's fifty years ago? That's only the seventies. I guess they didn't have video games. And I was going to say like old Sega shit, where it's just like to get to a certain level, you do the code, mm. which Nintendo still does for their latest games yeah and stuff like that. go away but like for <laughs> no a long time doing. for a long time it was just i guess i think it was like your id and also mm. i don't know you would go to local places that people knew you most of the time <laughs> your password was your face <laughs> yeah um the old the original face recognition technology drew from down the road <laughs> um so what do you think um should passwords i mean we we're not password professionals but we definitely have very strong opinions about how they should be you know yeah yeah well i i think a password should be personally uh you need to have some stakes in it you're not gonna remember a string of text not really like you like what i do I, something like it's auto suggests a password to me on some sites and it's just like squiggle the x hashtag blue blue blah blah deep <laughs> and i go all right I'll write that down right here, stick it on the computer screen, and then what am I... <laughs> Why even have it? <laughs> like, it's, not a, it's just a, not a password. It's just an extra step in the person sitting down at my computer stealing my information thing that they're doing. Yeah. So um, I like to use memorable stuff. Yeah, I, I agree. As someone who mainly uses memorable stuff and is also a human being, which is how pe the, the main... Like most people use mm. memorable passwords and it's bad and we shouldn't. But it's, <laughs> you know, it's a risk you got to live with. Uh, your passwords mm. probably exist in some hacker database somewhere. Uh, you should probably just either think about it a lot and focus on what you actually have to do to get secure or don't think about it. <laughs> like, uh, you, because no matter what, your password's going to be on a hacker database somewhere, no matter what you do. But I, I, I'd say like... Your password's actually... I think like um, Sorry, the thing is uh, there's like there's kind of two extremes. There's like memorable and then there's like actually secure. And yeah. the one where you uh, generate it yourself and like think like, oh, I, I like the number six. So it's going to be six. And then I live in a house. So it's an H. And then I buy three oranges every day. So it's a three. That one where you like calculate it like you're still mm. like 
in the yeah, middle ground yeah. of like you you still you like might as well not bother you might as well go straight to using a completely generated thing um yeah. password managers are great um i mostly mm. any website i don't care about now like random ones Answer i just use dash lane. yeah i just use um <laughs> google chrome's generator thing and it works great yeah um, yeah well that's it a lot of my passwords are remembered it's just when i actually it's like all right well, I don't remember this one. You got to put it in. I'm like, all right. Thank God for emails and password. The best password is having an email already logged in <laughs> that you can recover the password through. Except for the occasional site, which is somewhat fastidious. I did, though, have a password hacked earlier this year and it recently came back in a threatening email. I was like, what? It was like an auto phishing scam. But I do have an antivirus and I signed into some site or another and it was like, or I went to some site and it went, this password's been compromised. And it, for, and unfortunately, he, and like here's all the things you use to log in with that password through Google Chrome, I guess. And I was able to go and change all those passwords. And then I got an email a while, while later, just like the other month, being like, so they just, like the title was just that old password, which I don't use anymore. <laughs> just being like, I've, I've got webcam footage of you and you better Bitcoin me some money. And I was like do it i guess well, I didn't reply. <laughs> in my head i was like i mean worst case scenario there was I'm actually just, yeah I, I think i actually got a similar one and i replied to it and i said hey can we talk on skype and it bounced back it didn't work <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to call them <laughs> i wanted to like <laughs> i wanted to be you know threatened directly over a skype call and make a podcast <laughs> episode about it or something <laughs> oh it's good co- it's good content. I went down the rabbit hole procrastinating with that a while ago, just hopping on YouTube and going, people wasting scammers' time. And I could watch it for hours and have. <laughs> and, they, and they do go for a long time. It's good content. Um, so we are getting a little bit over time, but we should solve passwords once and for all. So I think, what do you think we should replace passwords with? No, you can't. It's no oh. longer a code you have to make. And it's also not a code you generate. What is it? Fortunately, we're kind of getting there. Like you just put your thumb on things and it goes, okay. Like, but if we're to like go super science fiction and no like thumb codes or anything like that, people don't like to get microchipped. (laughs) But I think it would be very convenient in a lot of ways. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I mean, wiping out the human race and replacing it with robots would be very convenient. But that's, that's not, true. not the option. That would be even better. Um, <laughs> uh, I think, one. I think. okay, so instead of a code you have to make and instead of a code that you generate, it's based on th- three friends and they, at any mm-hmm. time, when you want to log into something, three friends have to confirm it. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every single time. And so they, <laughs> they get a message on their phone, <laughs> like a pop-up, and it says, please confirm Zeb would like to log in to RuneScape. And I get a message, and Alex gets a message, and <laughs> one of your other friends gets a message, and we all it have to click yes. Out. God, what a inefficient world that might be. <laughs> it's only when you... But, it's, it's No, okay, so it stays signed in most of the time. It's only if you log in from a new yeah. IP address. Yeah, I suppose, like, how often do you really log into something for exactly. the first time or for uh, after logging out? Yeah. Um, I guess that's also a solution. Just never log out. Yeah. Again. <laughs> Leave it on all the time. Um, so I think we've got our lesson, really, for the day. Uh, and uh, it's one that you'll see in a lot of science fiction. Um, and it's one that I firmly believe in. <laughs> Uh, when it comes yeah. to passwords humans are definitely the problem um but humans can it's be the solution a faultless technology but <laughs> humans, we've ruined it humans can also be the solution if you just set up your password in some way to only be usable by <laughs> three friends confirming that you wanted to log in to myspace.com in in 2020 i do have some sites where the password is literally password one <laughs> <laughs> all right this has been calendar don't boys hack me hack zeb don't hack zeb do what you want <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow